गुड मॉर्निंग एंड नमस्ते टू एवरीवन नमस्ते नमस्ते यस यस नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते सो लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस यू क्विकली देन यू कैन पुट योर शेयरिंग बेस्ड ऑन द पॉइंटर्स इन द स्क्रीन सो स्वयं प्रभा सत्यति जी इज वर्किंग एज एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटीज एट शिक्षा अनुसंधान यूनिवर्सिटी भुवनेश्वर ओडिशा सो सी इज ए कॉलमिस्ट ए कॉर्पोरेटर ट्रेनर करियर काउंसलर की नोट स्पीकर इन इंटरनेशनल एंड मेनी नेशनल यूनिवर्सिटीज पर्टिकुलरली लाइक नेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ सिंगापुर देन मेनी अदर यूनिवर्सिटीज इन रोमानिया he she also uh, editor in chief in roop katha uh, inter interdisciplinary journal in humanities and in bureau of many journals she was associated with uhb in the year of 2021 then uh, attending several meetings including the morning meetings now she is coordinating moderating several meetings and taking a very important role in eastern region uh usb activities so uh, currently also moderating uh, co facilitating and also taking some session in esi so with this short uh, introduction we may uh, start so sir namaste over to you namaste to all the co-explorers and the mentors who are present here so whatever i say today will definitely be the outcome of the uh, you know learning that i got from the mentors uh, by attending morning sessions and of course the other sessions that goes on and each time when i look into those uh, videos uh, because you know it takes some time to understand these uh, uh, these uh, uh, you know uh, proposals so that makes me feel that the more i am into this the more refinement it comes in my being and uh, i also felt that until and unless i was i could uh, you know bring this into my living it was very difficult on my part to understand and assess these uh, or evaluate these feelings so uh, with all due permission of the mentors so i'll take uh, your permission to start so with this uh, exercise uh, i will start with exercise 1 and uh, as the exercise 1 uh, says that uh, you know uh, observing the self by the self so uh, you know uh, when i start uh, yeah so observe your Im imagination at this moment and your desire feeling thought expectation without any reaction so uh, generally we have a tendency to observe outside ourselves and get sensation from outside so it uh, when i first got into this step i really felt how difficult it is to observe myself and through myself and each time i was thinking so there were some outside feelings only that were coming and intervening but gradually when i started to uh, you know uh, do it again and again i could see that there was you know gushing of thoughts sometimes it made me very sad because some of the past uh, thoughts which you, which i always feel that past is not to be taken into consideration in the present but those thoughts also came and haunted me and i felt so sad about it but again i realized that this is not uh, the my present state i should uh, not be thinking but actually uh, you know if i am to compare like uh, say for example in the traffic light when the traffic is just waiting to move and suddenly that light red green so the rush of the traffic was quite similar to the thoughts that i had and it was uh, you know some kind of a random thought sometimes i'm thinking i have to do these assignments in the college sometimes i'm thinking this is my uh, you know thing which i have to do with my family so all these things were uh, going on but eventually i could see that uh, uh, these thoughts could uh, you know did come and go but at the same time there was some sort of a uh you know uh, thoughts it got st it started to get resolved uh you know slowly slowly and i was able to see that when i am trying to observe myself so i could see certain feelings and uh, so when i was again you know when this uh, step says that don't react 
so uh, again it is it becomes very obvious that my reaction comes either of happiness or sadness so this is indeed a very easy step though we when i'm to tell you like this but uh, while doing it it really takes a uh, uh, you know lot of uh, time and uh, to coordinate because our mind is always wandering into something or the other and always to those outside uh, things so well moving on to the uh, next step so uh, when uh, is this feeling of mine naturally accepted to me so uh, didi here i would give an example uh, like you know uh, these feelings those thoughts that come we have a variety of thoughts so in this what happened like uh, you know for uh, to just you know once uh, it happened so that uh, there was a small boy and a girl who were just passing through the road of my colony so many times i see them and so i have a pomegranate uh, tree and they climb up the tree they pluck some pomegranate so i felt okay they want to eat but the pomegranates were not very tasty so uh, they used to throw it up so what did i do i felt that no and since uh, they are children and they are hungry so i gave them some biscuits some water sometimes whatever was available i gave so uh, and so it went on after few days i see that the same boy he came and uh, you know he has stolen few things which was outside so uh, because how i could know that is because i met the boy that day and then i saw the uh, you know there was a fan outside and it wasn't there so i saw in the cctv and i found that it was the same boy who took the uh, fan so it did give me a feeling because when i saw him again i asked him what did you do he said i sold it so i was really shocked and this kind of you know it was quite a, a feeling of opposition because which is not very natural to me because i would like i would always like to be in harmony and uh, in relationship and uh, so this is not something which is uh, you know natural but nevertheless this kind of a feeling came to me and uh, you know there of course there are some times uh, even when people are very good to me or they help me or uh, even if not helping but when i see them uh, that you know uh, some way or the other they have done something like uh, i must say that uh, you know uh, my gratitude to tara prasanna also because if he would not be there i would not have so much of clarity on things because he has always been a very good support so of course so this kind of feelings also come to me that is a feeling of relationship and of course when the feeling of relationship is there i am obviously very comfortable and happy but uh, when there is a feeling of opposition as i said with the example of that boy i felt very uncomfortable and uh, i did not like it but again uh, i had to see that it should not affect me uh, in any case so moving on to the uh, third uh, step that is are you in harmony happy with the feeling that you have at this moment uh, yes uh, indeed uh, at present uh, when i am uh, you know there here so uh, discussing this so i am in harmony and i am comfortable but uh, there are times didi when i am you know uh, there are certain uh, moments uh, you know as uh, as i say that uh, these processes that we are going on is a long term process it cannot be overnight so sometimes i have some feeling of opposition or some contradiction so but at the same time when i have to again go and meet that individual despite all odds it does make me a little uncomfortable and uh, so uh, of course it uh, disrupts my harmony but what i try to do at this point of time when i have learned so much about uh, you know understanding harmony and happiness so i try to resolve this and i try to make an attempt to the individual and decide to talk over and mm -hmm. find out so that my disharmony uh, is not uh, there and i am uh, you know having this uh, state i am in a state of harmony so now when i go to uh, step 4 that is uh, who decided the feeling that you have at this moment certainly it is me and because uh, you know these feelings or uh, sometimes uh, uh, when i listen to the words as i said that when i have to go to an individual whom uh, i'm not very compatible with and uh, so the when i have to listen to the words and say that everything that uh, which the individual is saying i have to agree upon 
So, uh, you know, sometimes I draw conclusions that I should not ever go to this person again. But again, as I said, so, uh, you know, uh, sometimes I feel uh, pity because maybe uh, the person is so much under pressure of work. So he's behaving. Uh, but again, as I said, uh, it also, uh, you know, uh, when I think uh, that they are, uh, you know, he's pressurized with work and because uh, they have to do a lot of work. And so I'm also asking the same thing, which must have been asked by individuals 100 times. So my feeling changes. I feel that uh, it's okay. Uh, whatever the interpretation they have done. Uh, so it will take time for them to understand. And I feel that I should, uh, you know, uh, give some space. So uh, if I'm to say the, uh, you know, though the feeling is there, the stimulus is there from outside, uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, my feeling has changed because I interpret it in a different manner because uh, basically I want to be resolved within myself. So uh, moving on to the fifth step, on what basis did you decide the feeling you have at this moment? Did you decide it on the basis of understanding or the basis of some assumption? Uh, now, uh, when I decide this feeling, so certainly this is not based on my assumptions, but it is based on my own understanding about uh, uh, my clarity about the thing that is I am not uh, to disrupt my harmony by, uh, you know, uh, just uh, feeling uh, by having this kind of a feeling of opposition. And uh, at the same time, at the, when I have already done UHV3 and a lot of understanding, I have developed to some extent, as I would say. So I also see that, you know, I have some feeling towards some other human being with a human human relationship that I have understood myself as a human being and I also understand the other as a human being. So they, when I have this sort of a feeling, then definitely, uh, you know, I feel more uh, uh, related to the individual. And uh, uh, of course, this feeling is naturally acceptable to me because to some extent, uh, I would not say I have completely uh, decided my feeling on the basis of right understanding. But uh, in uh, sometimes I ha I can think in favor of these feelings and try to build up my understanding. Now, uh, moving on to uh, step six. <clears throat> uh, that is, which feelings are naturally acceptable to you? Feelings of relationship or opposition, harmony or disharmony. So 6a, Definitely feelings of relationship, not opposition at all. Because uh, as a part of my nature also, I don't like to be uh, opposed to anybody. And if there is some sort of an opposition ever, I always try to resolve it. And I only take the first step, whether it is at home. So at home, of course, when my uh, son was small, now that he's an architect and he's working, and my husband is also uh, into this uh, you know, business, uh, so there was sometimes, you know, when initially he had started the business and construction business involves a lot of, uh, you know, pressure. So uh, I did have certain, uh, you know, problems because, you know, I, as we have seen that our behavior and our uh, work is quite related to the our content of imagination. So supposing he had some sort of a, uh, you know, contradiction maybe. And when he came and so uh, I used to say something and he was, uh, completely out of his mind. So I did feel at that time that, uh, you know, this is not the way how one behaves. But at the same time, then uh, eventually as I'm, uh, you know, growing up with the sessions, so or my, uh, you know, my understanding is growing with this session. So I don't have this feeling of opposition and I try to resolve it. And even if I see sometimes that he's not in a, uh, in, uh, some sort of a contradiction is going on, so I give him some space and uh, I don't uh, struggle to compromise at that point of time that why he has come with a grumpy face, he has to be smiling at me and also those things I don't have much as of now. And so it's completely resolved and I'm happy with that. Uh, so uh, this is what, uh, you know, uh, I'm, uh, I have uh, been uh, looking at myself and uh, we explored within to understand a relationship, harmony and coexistence and the content of whole nature and existence, absolutely. So, uh, because uh, as I said that, uh, you know, feeling of relationship, 
uh, is not only with individuals, uh, but also with the nature. So I had also given this example earlier, Didi, that, uh, you know, um, like uh, I have a small uh, little place where I have some flowering pots and some flowering plants. So uh, we, uh, you know, we being a little spiritual, uh, I had people around me also. So every day they used to pluck my flowers and uh, pluck the flowers and they used to just leave the gate open. So sometimes I said, it's okay. I went and closed the gate. But uh, sometimes I saw that, you know, the plant, the leaves were uh, snatched away. So uh, some I felt uncomfortable. So what I did, I planted few trees beyond the boundary. And so they started flowering. So I thought that it will be well understood by them that these are the flowers and they can take. But it did not happen. So they went on. So still, so I also feel that we are coexisting. So the nature also has to be given equal justice as much as I need. Maybe they are not speaking, but at the same time, uh, the way I uh, behave with the nature, the nature also behaves the same. And uh, the best situation, uh, what I could realize and relate to this is the COVID situation. Uh, when, you know, the nature retaliated, though there was a pandemic, everything said and done. But uh, there was also a retaliation of nature. And we also best understand because, you know, of the old buildings that we have here in Bhubaneswar, the place where I stay. So there, uh, this uh, area is quite, uh, you know, prone to uh, cyclones. So uh, there I see the uh, retaliation uh, that the nature also has. So it is for our understanding that we do coexist. And so we have to have this feeling of... Uh, uh, you know, uh, coexistence and uh, relationship and not the feeling of uh, position. And of course, uh, the feeling of coexistence should come to us, uh, you know, as uh, within, uh, like within us as in harmony, rather than with the feeling of struggle. So, uh, but again, I would say I can, I'm not being very idealistic because everything doesn't come to me every time, but these are something which is naturally acceptable to me. Now, uh, coming to the uh, seventh uh, point, that is ensure that the feeling that you have at this moment is in line uh, with harmony and coexistence and not otherwise. On this basis, I'll be in happiness at the moment. Uh, yeah. So the same thing I will be saying that, uh, yes, I do realize this. Uh, that is, I have to develop myself by ensuring every moment uh, that is, uh, you know, being more observant about myself and trying to, uh, you know, find out uh, about uh, these kind of coexistence and the feelings that which comes to me. So uh, now when I move to, uh, so this is what is my understanding that I developed for exercise one. Uh, so I always feel that this is a process and it doesn't come overnight. So it uh, because there are few things which are easier said than done, because when we put it into practice, it uh, becomes difficult. Uh, well, so here, uh, you know, observing the self and the interaction uh, between them uh, in space by the self. So uh, here I have understood one thing, uh, what uh, Ganesh Bhaiya had explained, uh, though I would say that I have not... Uh, much in clarity, but nevertheless, we have been learning that uh, the uh, human being is a coexistence of self and body, and uh, the self also exists, the body also exists, and there is a coexistence of self and body uh, in space, and there are many units in space, and uh, so each unit is energized in space. So this is what uh, uh, I would say a little theoretical understanding, but I did understand a little bit about it. So uh, when I uh, say for the first step, that is I exist, the body is also there, the body exists. So this is, uh, of course, I understand. Uh, so I transact information with body from time to time and as and when required. So uh, yes, uh, the transaction in the body is going. Uh, going on, that is, uh, I read sensation from the body because I feel the body is also a reality and uh, self and body are uh, two distinct realities. So, uh, and uh, the need of the self and the need of the body, though different, 
but it coexists. So this is something very much known to us. I mean, all of us who are associated with this, because uh, we know that uh, we have feelings in the self and the self has the feelings, which is, uh, you know, uh, qualitative in nature. And it doesn't, uh, you know, uh, it all it is always there with one self and the other self. Now, when I try to, uh, you know, uh, see uh, my the presence of my body, I see it through the sensations uh, that I get from the body. That is sometimes the observing the interaction that goes on. And, uh, you know, uh, I could say that, um, you know, it is it all comes in the form of information, uh, not any kind of a physiochemical things. So, you know, say, for example, uh, you know, when uh, uh, I have to stand, like, say, uh, you know, when we have uh, uh, people who are elderly to us, so uh, we have, uh, I, I show that this is a way of my expressing my respect that I stand and wish them. So uh, in our culture, we have that we have to, uh, you know, touch their feet. Say, for example, uh, if uh, like uh, if anybody, if my teachers also come or uh, if not my teacher or uh, someone uh, related to me, but elderly. So this is how this expression of feelings goes on. And uh, so uh, third step. I'm the one who decides whose uh, instructions are to be passed to the body and what sensations are to be read from the body. Uh, yes, uh, so this is something uh, very true that it is, of course, my decision and uh, which uh, instructions are to be taken. So if I'm to take uh, the example, you know, I'm very sweet tooth and uh, I'm foodie also. So sometimes, uh, you know, I like to take sweets and though uh, at the back of the mind, I know that sweets are not uh, too much of uh, taking sweets is not good for me. Uh, but uh, I do take it. And, uh, you know, sometimes uh, I also not only one satiates my, uh, you know, uh, feeling uh, or that, uh, uh, you know, quest for that uh, sweet. So I take uh, two or three. And definitely when, uh, you know, it makes me happy at that moment. But uh, eventually when I fall sick sometimes. So it does make me uh, sad. I, uh, like, uh, and of course, there are at times when I feel, uh, you know, uh, like I also do this. Uh, uh, sometimes I read the things like, you know, when I'm uh, the people who are around me. So I see that uh, there are sometimes there is some sort of, uh, uh, you know, feeling going on. Uh, like we have holidays. Uh, we have so much of leisure, pleasure. Everything is going on. But uh, when I see the janitors who are working, the people, so they don't have any holidays. Rather, when we are celebrating Holy Diwali, they are collecting those uh, things that, that we have, uh, you know, made it to fall outside or uh, those liters. And they're collecting those liters. So I feel that on those special days and even if whenever available, so I give them certain, uh, you know, uh, kind of sweets if I have. Sometimes in Holi, I put some colors in them. So that gives me a lot of uh, satisfaction because I feel that everybody, uh, they, are, they are also human beings and I'm also human being. So when they are trying to clean my community, so I have certain obligation for them. So of course, the decision is mine. And so these are certain sensations that I reach from the body uh, as and when required. Now, moving on to the fourth step, while reading the sensation, I'm not the sensation I can read the... Uh, the sensation taking place in any part of the body from where I am being different from the sensation. There is a difference between self and body. Uh, yes, uh, if I am to uh, understand this, uh, it is indeed there is a distance between a self and a body because uh, there are two distinct realities, as I already said. So the self is there, the body is there, and the need of the self is different, uh, the need of the body is different. And uh, so... Basically, uh, it's an outcome of a behavior, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, supposing, you know, uh, there's a sort of a mosquito bite. When a mosquito sits uh, in my, and it take, uh, it bites me. So I do feel the pain. So that is the pain that I felt in the body. But supposing as I am doing some important assignment and I'll, I have to prioritize that the assignment is more important. So maybe I don't take those sensations. And uh, to this also, I would say that, you know, when we were in IIT Kanpur, so a lot of people felt sick and even I felt sick. But uh, had it been home, I would have completely, uh, you know, not been out. 
but then there um, i had a, a priority because it was something interesting so a moment i was missing i felt i missed a lot there so uh, i i went there and it was as normal as any other day uh, so uh, yes indeed uh, you know there is some sort of a distance uh, between uh, uh, the self and the body uh, because of the different needs that they have so uh, coming on to the fifth uh, step my interaction with the body or the world outside is a is by the way of sensation i read the sensation by decision give meaning to the sensation and my reaction response uh, depends on my sanskar uh, yes didi this uh, is indeed uh, you know quite true for me uh, because the, the sources uh, what i have is uh, basically from the world outside an outcome of the behavior which uh, first reaches my body and then on basis of the sensory organs such as uh, you know touch sound um or uh, some kind of a feeling you know that feeling of headache um, or um, i would also say that you know here i would give an example when i say that the sensation comes from the world outside also very recently i came across an incident with the that uh, in a hospital it's a government hospital uh, there was a lady nurse who was a very senior lady and there was a patient who was in emergency so she called for the house surgeon so instead of calling house surgeon sir she said the hs need to attend this please call him fast so why did she men mention hs the hs he did not come the doctor had to come to attend to that patient and the house surgeons they went on a strike with black badges they protested against that uh, lady that she should be out or some action should be taken so this kind of things they indeed disturb me many a times i don't know if i can be resolved when i see such situations uh, yesterday also i was uh, discussing with kumar bhaiya so yes uh but i don't know i felt whether it is natural or normal uh you know i don't understand but these kind of things does this uh, you know disturb me even there is a second incident as i would say uh you know uh, like uh, the very recent news that a young boy driving a very uh, you know posh car and uh, like completely drunk he kills two people and the uh, you know uh, the judge says that you write a 300 word essay and uh, that is enough so uh, like it came as a shock to me and i i know that uh, i'm not supposed to get disturbed by this uh, outside sensations but sometimes i also feel that it is something that which uh, you know which disturbs me which is not naturally acceptable and i do realize that i have certain responsibility towards people because if i am resolved within myself but the people around me are not resolved can i ensure harmony so by keeping my harmony uh, resolved keeping myself in harmony so i feel that these are certain social responsibility that i owe to people and uh, so through that i feel that uh, you know these are certain things which does disturb me and uh, so moving on to the next step i tend to react if my sanskar is based on assumption um yes uh, sometimes it happens so that uh, when my uh, sanskar is based on assumption i'm not able to ensure continuous happiness that's true uh, you know uh, like supposing uh, you know with the slightest illness uh, uh, you know every one of us uh, feel that uh, you know uh, like particularly me i feel that no no i'm uh, you know i don't have that much of stamina to move and all but this learning came to me again i would say because the face to face interaction was quite uh, you know uh, the uh, encouraging enriching and enlightening uh, didi if uh, i'll to tell you that you know when we went to this uh, uh, sansthan so we went by a bus again uh, it was uh, uh, it was very hot and so i felt uh, you know there only i was feeling a little bit of heat uh, and so but when we reached there suddenly we saw on the way there was a, a tree fallen down and uh, so we were supposed to walk so the thought of that walk itself uh, made me to feel that no i will not be able to go i should return and i decided completely i will return 
but uh, i saw that instantly uh, bhaiya uh, uh, like all the bhaiyas they bhaiya even bibis they all uh, instantly very promptly they worked out so i i was feeling bad about it that uh, that i have assumed myself that i will not be able to do so uh, that with this assumption definitely i was unhappy also because this feeling came to me that when they could go why couldn't i but then still uh, that did not uh, prompt me to go and uh, again i went in an auto and all the time uh, i felt more uh, you know uh, that i'm sweating uh, it's sweaty i was uh, uh, of course a little unwell so all these things went on in my mind whereas i also felt that i was perhaps disturbing the others harmony also by this behavior so i tried my best to uh, you know uh, uh, try to uh, you know uh, feel a little comfortable but i think that came on to my behavior also which uh, i think which did not uh, i did not uh, uh, like and uh, the second incident i would relate didi that uh, you know uh, many of us uh, fell sick with viral fever so there was a medicine uh, that is sudarshan churan if i'm not wrong so we were asked that you take little bit and that will be as a preventive but me being over protective and assuming things to my own imagination i went on asking pankaj bhaiya that please give me the entire bottle and uh, ultimately i purchased that and then i shared it with my uh, you know people who were staying with me that uh, you have this and we can have it daily so that we don't fall sick at all so definitely this these kind of uh, you know uh, assumptions or i should say the sanskar uh, because also i would say that climbing up the fourth floor was uh, you know a herculean task i must say but uh, there were people who helped me with uh, carrying the bags with no uh, kind a slightest uh, feeling of that i had to carry their bags so this was also something there but at the same time there there came a responsibility to me on the last but one day when i had to help my co explorer uh, you know to move on so there i had climbed that day four times up and down the stairs and i never realized that i have climbed four times later on i thought that i could do this but uh, every day i used to feel the four stairs i have to climb the fourth floor no i am not going at all i'll go at the end of the day when i have to go to the bed so these were certain experiences which i relate to this and now uh, moving on to 6b i respond when my sanskar is based on understanding uh, yes did this so the same uh, incidents are quite relatable because when i saw that there was a need of me uh, someone uh, some of my co explorers needed my help so uh, i did not think of myself then but i the, the first thing that i did is how could i help the other so that the other is also at peace and in harmony and of course uh, there was a time when i was quite shouted by the uh you know uh, the cab uh, uh, driver who uh, who was supposed to take my co explorer to the station so there was some miscommunication so i got a very bad shout from him so instantly i was angry but then i said he was doing his duty and i should have communicated him that uh, you have to drop and come so i was also in a very confused state so i don't know what worked there did my sanskar work did my Uh, what were whatever it was but these feelings were quite there in me and very prominent though i initially i felt bad because it was a little insulting i and uh, i felt that i was helping and uh, why i had to listen but then i realized that the driver did not know that uh, what was the situation so i should have made uh, uh, the things more clear and uh, you know now for the last step i am in coexistence in space and the body is in coexistence um yes i did learn in this uh, uhv pre workshop that i am in space myself and body are coexisting in space and uh, all units are coexisting and each unit is organized in space but um, you know these all as i said it's a kindly uh, kind of a uh, you know theoretical understanding that i have i'm not able to validate this point but yes one thing i certainly feel that all of us when we are coexisting space and definitely there is some energy is working because we are all together in uh, and uh, trying to enrich each other like it may be the physical order bio order plant animal order or the human order but sometimes because of our insanity and insensibility we try to create this uh, disharmony 
so I'm not very sure how much uh, of my understanding has developed. But yes, uh, uh, there needs a lot of clarity in understanding this uh, last step. And uh, so, some, uh, so sometimes, uh, you know, I do uh, realize that uh, sometimes I'm, uh, you know, my content of my imagination is, uh, uh, you know, dwindling. And so when I see the center of my being, I see that I am, uh, I can understand that I'm not, uh, that preconditions doesn't work. But at the same time, sometimes also uh, feelings and relationship goes. Sometimes it also, uh, uh, you know, I can see that I have to have this uh, uh, desire, thought and expectation and uh, with the sanskar in harmony with uh, happiness and being in a state of, uh, you know, contentment. Uh, but uh, I'm not very sure uh, because uh, I feel that it will take a very long time for me because, you know, we have so much of inbuilt, uh, uh, you know, sanskar uh, to uh, replace that. It's a gradual process, uh, which I feel it is not very easy. Maybe um, I, I feel that there could be people who could do this very fast. Uh, but as of now, I, uh, I can see that it will take time for me. But in the process, I have seen that with all this understanding, there's a lot of, uh, you know, kind of transformation which I can see in me. That is, I'm not very much, uh, you know, uh, irritable or, uh, you know, maybe I got some uh, awards also very recently. So uh, when I got those awards, like, you know, being the hundred, um, among one among the hundred women achievers, being a golden uh, global icon. So all these things did uh, you know, elate my ego. But again, I said that if this responsibility was given to me, so I have to also take this responsibility further of doing something for the society, not bring, bring a figure and trying to, you know, be only uh, uh, congratulated by others. So this understanding is also developed through these courses. So lastly, I would say that my gratitude to all the mentors and uh, Sharmila Didi, when I saw you in person, honestly, I went on thinking that how simple a person could be and yet so knowledgeable. Similarly, with all the mentors, oh, I have met Umesh Bhaiya on two occasions. The way he delivers uh, Ganesh Bhaiya, Kumar Bhaiya, the patience, and of course, Gopal Bhaiya's, uh, you know, attempt uh, in his own uh, college. So that is something very commendable. This is nothing hyperbolic that I'm talking. These are my honest feelings, uh, which I thought that I would tell you, uh, tell uh, once, uh, uh, you know, ever I got a chance there, but I don't know, uh, you know, uh, somehow I could not make it more verbal. But thank you so much, because I feel that apart from all the knowledge and understanding that I had in education, the refinement has all come through uh, the learning that I have got through UHP. So my heartfelt gratitude to everyone. And of course, uh, Taraji being uh, younger to me, my student, but whatever, he has been very responsible and very kind in, uh, you know, bringing me to this content. So my gratitude to him as well and gratitude to each one, each of the co-explorers, the voices that are here uh, in the morning sessions. Everyone has some contribution in making, in refining my understanding. And uh, yet I am exploring. And uh, so this is all about me. Uh, so, yeah, uh, so how much time? Uh, so I think I'm attending morning sessions I, as much as possible. I'm attending the, each meeting wherever I am uh, visible and possible for me. I'm trying to, uh, you know, involve myself as much as I can because uh, heart of hearts, I feel that this is something which is uh, having a lot of impact on me and my surrounding as well. And uh, so this is uh, what... Uh, uh, you know, uh, I can do. And of course, uh, two hours, uh, definitely I can uh, devote. And I'm also trying to do that. I'm doing that in various uh, kinds of, uh, you know, meetings, occasions, wherever I can. But yet sometimes uh, I do feel bad because sometimes I, uh, I have uh, uh, said that I'll be doing it. But unfortunately, some of the th other thing props up because Didi, as I'm working, so the obligation is more towards that because and... Uh, we don't uh, have any kind of a second, uh, you know, uh, choice that is whether I should attend to that or not. So if a task is given in the uh, in the university front or the work front, I must say, 
so that task is to be taken uh, without any thought so i do feel bad sometimes that as much as i can i'm not able to do but nevertheless um this is my commitment that uh, whenever i can i'll do and i have also given my name for international conference i don't know how do i fit into that so as uh, and when my help is required i'll definitely do and of course newsletter i uh, that is also something which aprajita didi is doing it wonderfully well with rajul bhaiya's uh, guidance and uh, so that is something uh, very good so if there also sometimes because i don't know much of the technical uh, things but yes if uh, some editing or some kind of a layout or anything that is uh, ever required i am ready to help for everything because this is something interesting and i love to be with this thank you so much for all the co explorers for my mentors thanks a lot namaste namaste bhaiya namaste didi namaste bhaiya namaste so regarding sharing very elaborated and detailed sharing with observation of up and down in feelings which is happening in you so you shared it very honestly and definitely you have observed many things during interactions that's why you are able to share all those up and downs which are happening in uh, feelings so this is good didi that we are observing all up and down in myself and sometimes we are able to resolve it sometimes we may not be able to resolve it it is all matter of awareness so once we are clear that happiness is my innate nature then this up and down will reduce in ourselves so the more clarity about my innate nature means more uh, you can say we can uh, we can be get out of this up and down from daily life if i am more clear about in this nature so in that sense it is it is good really that you are moving ahead and you are observing things so keep it up didi very nice thank you gopalya i all learned from you all only <laughs> namaste 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 bhai Thank you, Gopal Bhaiya, for your quick comments. Now I may invite Sarala Didi for a quick question. Sarala Didi, Namaste. Namaste to everyone. Namaste, Swam Prabhati. Namaste, Didi. Namaste. So nice sharing. It was good to hear your sharing today. Um, many things you mentioned regarding, you know, how. you have been trying to reflect on things within yourself and trying to see the imagination and ultimately we all have to try to see the imagination going on all the time because if we pay attention we will see that the imagination is always there something or the other is always going on so like when we say that the imagination is dwindling perhaps our observation is not so accurate or perhaps we get lost in the imagination from time to time so we don't see it that is one possibility so the more we observe the more sharp our observation will become but very nicely you were able to relate some incidents are um our attention goes now that we are looking at the imagination our attention seems to go to the imagination when we have a certain incident which we associate with a feeling that is disturbing i hope you understand what i am trying to say sometimes <laughs> Uh, sometimes our attention goes to the imagination because of some incident and then we see in the incident we try to you know uh, go back and look at that incident and see that with this incident see this happened and i was disturbed 
So that's a natural, normal process of looking at things because disturbance is not something we want. So our attention gets drawn to that. But ultimately, we want to just be observing. Regardless of what is happening outside, we want to keep observing. So that, you know, the observation is sharper and we are able to handle things within without having to have the issue outside. So uh, all of that, as the observation gets sharper, these things will happen. But I think it's a very good, um, you know, many things you were able to observe within. And it will take time, like you said, it does take time. But with each session that you attend, you know, you can try to ask yourself, you know, more and more if you are paying attention, what is it that has improved from the last session to now? What do, you know, what was my state before and what is it now? And how am I seeing things? So whatever your understanding, if you put it down, if you write it down, next session, when you go through the session, many times you will see that actually what I thought I had understood, now I seem to understand it better. Or I had you know, looked at it superficially, now I can see it better. And this will happen for all of us. So uh, that would be another suggestion that you can write things down and Absolutely. that gives us more clarity also. So all the very best. And uh, you already mentioned that you have given your name for some projects. That's very nice. I think, uh, you know, I'm sure you can uh, participate and do you know, whatever you would like to do in that uh, scenario, whether it be newsletter or whether it be conference or whatever else. And side by side, your observation must keep going. So all the best. Wish you all the best. All Thank best. you so much, Didi. Uh, I take those suggestions and I'll definitely work upon. This is very true. As much as I go deep, I also have the, uh, understand this, that there are something new that I'm learning. Very true. And uh, thank you so much, Didi, for your kind words. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.